Hello, friends, and welcome to another Sims 4 story build. Now, I know it's been a long while since my last one, probably around about four months, but these videos just take a little bit longer to put together and create compared to the speed builds, etc. Um, but I really enjoy doing them, and so they shall stay. But we're going to be talking about the ancient Ram inn which is a nearly a thousand year old inn in gloucestershire in england um it's a really really scary place probably one of the most haunted places in the uk if not the world um you can take this with a pinch of salt just use it as a bit of fun if you may wish if you don't believe in the paranormal it's always fun to just broaden your mind sometimes and have a little bit of enjoyment but without further ado let's delve a little bit more into the story shall we the ancient Ram Inn is located in Wotton Under Edge, which is in the Stroud district of Gloucestershire, England. The building itself was built in 1145. It was constructed to house the slaves, masons and other workers who helped construct the St. Mary's Church nearby. In 1930, the inn was bought by Maurice de Bath and ever since then, the inn has become private property and has changed hands several times. The land in which the inn is built on is the intersection of two ley lines. These are places in which people believe have high spiritual energy. When you use a map, you can trace the lines all the way through the center of Stonehenge to the ancient Ram Inn. The past owner, John Humphreys, bought the inn in the late 1960s to preserve it from destruction. From the first night he and his family moved in, John claims of weird and paranormal happenings. He once claimed he was dragged by the arm from his bed by a demonic force. John actually came across the skeletal remains of children, which were evidence of ritual sacrifices and devil worship on the inn's grounds. Unrelated to devil worship, the site itself was meant to be an old pagan burial ground, which was said to be around 5,000 years old. There are several spirits that are believed to haunt the inn, perhaps the most famous of them being a witch that was due to be burned at the stake in the area during the 1500s. The woman fled from potential trial by witch hunters and took sanctuary in the ancient Ram Inn. However, she was soon captured and burned at the stake. Her ghost is rumoured to haunt this very room, now dubbed the Witch's Room. One of the most haunted rooms in the entire inn is the Bishop's Room, called the Bishop's Inn. This is where bishops would stay in days past and the room is supposedly haunted by several bishops today. More recently, the Right Reverend John Yates former Bishop of Gloucester, is said to have called the ancient Ram Inn the most evil place I have ever had the misfortune to visit, following a failed attempt at exorcism. Today, the ancient Ram Inn is a Grade II listed property and is owned by John's daughter Caroline after his death in 2017. Even to this day, it's said the locals of the area refuse to walk past the inn at night choosing to cross the street instead. The inn is still open to people who want to book evenings of paranormal investigation, and you can find more information on this, including some paranormal investigations I enjoyed watching on YouTube in the description box below. So there we have it, my friends, the ancient Ram Inn. Um, a beautiful building, like, I absolutely love the look of this building. It was a little bit difficult to recreate it exactly, as always in The Sims. Um, but it's a place full of paranormal happenings and we're gonna go now and build it in The Sims 4. So I'll switch over to the build mode and I'll see you in just a second. Hello there, my friends, and welcome to the speed build section of this build. So the ancient Ram Inn, I mean, I think, it, I've, I've said it in this video, I think it's such a beautiful looking building. Obviously, we couldn't recreate it fully in The Sims 4, especially with the fact that it's almost sunk into the ground. And I actually did build that part 
um, firsthand. I, I actually built it into the ground. I went down to the basement level, but it looked really bad from above. <laughs> it looked really bad on ground level. So I decided to go against that and build it on the actual ground itself. So it's not kind of sunk in like it is in real life. Um, which is a shame. I really would have liked to have got that across. But limitations in The Sims 4, it's sometimes hard to recreate things. And that is where we just had to go with it, my darlings. Um, so, yeah, this is what I came up with. This is what I came up with. I've actually made this lot residential as well. So your Sims, if they want to, could move into this place quite happily. Um, or quite hauntedly. <laughs> Awful. I'm here with the dad jokes just to make everyone feel better. A bit better about life at the minute. I'm not going to go on about a particular thing that has got the world in grips at the minute because I want my channel to be kind of escapism for you guys. Somewhere where you can just come and just forget about shit things for a while. So um, this is probably going to be the last time I'll mention it. All I want to say is I hope everybody out there is safe and just taking necessary precautions. And that is it. Um, but yeah, I hope you are all well. And I'm I'm with you. I am with you. Um, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, I, I did have a lot of fun building this. It's hard to try and recreate something that you know you can't get exactly across in The Sims 4. Um, so I did my best. I did my best. I prefer the back to the front. The front's pretty, but the front has got so much character in real life. And it was really, really hard to try and recreate that. And I did it to the best of my abilities. I kind of wonkied up the roof line a little bit. And I wonkied up the outer edges. Wonkied. Wonkied would be the word of today, my darlings. <laughs> um, and what I do with that, I use these shelves here. And I just put them in kind of stack. I don't put them perfectly. I just get, make them all kind of just sort of curve up and down just a little bit and it just gives this feeling of it being a little bit more um worn weathered and old on the front and that is what we went with i absolutely love the front of this build as well or house itself or inn sorry um i think it's gorgeous i, I love the way that the walls just look a thousand years old because this building nearly is a thousand years old which is crazy that blows my absolute mind um but i'm just I, it, it has got like quite a, it's got as we were talking about it's got a really sad history behind it like some of the stuff that i was learning about this place um how sad how sad that these things happened in here and it, this house is almost holding on to that energy and that's probably what all these people are coming across they're coming across this energy that's been left behind um and a bad energy as well because of what actually happened in here now we never know if these things are true. I like to believe in the paranormal. It's just me. It's something I'm really interested in. And I'm really fascinated with. So I'm still skeptic. I'm still skeptic. Some of the stories that I was reading about this place, I didn't include in here because I was just like, eh, I don't know if I believe that one or not. So I'm leaving it out and I'm telling my own version of it. <laughs> but um, I, I loved learning about the history of this place. Uh, I really did, really did. Let me know what you guys think below as well. Um, I'm going to be building a few more things coming out this week. Um, I've got a huge group collab build that I'm, I need to get done this week as well. So expect a speed build coming this week as well. Maybe two. I don't know what's happening with my workplace at the minute. Um, me being self-employed. I know I'm talking about the thing that I shouldn't be talking about. But we're not giving the thing that we should not be talking about a name. There's a difference. <laughs> Um, but if it comes to it, if I do have to stay home from my work, it will give me a big, huge chance to get a lot of videos done <laughs> for YouTube. That's the only positive way I'm looking at it at the minute. Um, and the fact that I will probably be able to bring out four, five videos a week during that period, maybe. Who can say? I don't know what's going to happen and I'm not promising anything. But if that is the case, then expect to hear a lot more from me, my darlings. <laughs> um, but yeah, but yeah, just I'm trying to, trying to keep it lighthearted. There's so much shit going on in the world at the minute. I just think it's good to keep it a little bit more lighthearted, you know, and that's where we're going. But anyway, this is the back of the inn. So there was a big mix, mismatch and mixed match of windows. I'm not sure. I've not been able to find any recent photos of this inn. Um, but I think most of the ivy and stuff have been not cleaned off of it. But I think most of the building looks a lot more 
um, put together and less dilapidated than it than it has been in some of the photos, including some of the photos that I showed in the beginning of this video. Um, but because I came across one that looked like the house had just been done, I was like, oh my God, it looks really, really clean there. And I couldn't find it anywhere. I couldn't find it after finding it once. And it's really annoying, but yeah, what a fascinating place. What a fascinating place. And there are lots more of these kind of builds to come from. Now I keep getting people um, kind of asking to build this and build this, place or but it's kind of on the other side of the world <clears throat> excuse me frog in my throat nothing else thank you um yeah um there but the thing is i think i'm gonna keep this series mainly and predominantly based around the uk and places in the uk just because i myself am english and i like learning a lot about my own country and I also like educating other people about my own country as well so I'm kind of having this um series is almost an educational one if you will uh, I just thought that would be really cool about it maybe in the future after I've kind of done a lot more UK builds I will then go ahead and maybe do someone from America and over Europe I'd definitely look at doing that but for the minute this um series is just going to be based on sort of haunted places in the UK because we have absolutely tons of them considering how old some of our architecture and houses are um so I'm kind of spoiled for choice really but yeah love this courtyard by the way really really enjoyed building this courtyard I found a photo um <clears throat> I also found a floor plan as well now the floor plan isn't exactly the way it is and definitely not where I put stuff in the house um consider like ro rooms considered I actually just went off on my own head and thought, this is The Sims, let's just think about where you would put the things. And I decided to just do it that way. Probably will do it that a lot with a lot of these builds, especially ones that not necessarily are from TV and movies and stuff. I'm going to try and sort of like put my own little spin on it and it just makes things easier. Even though I did find a floor plan for this place, it wasn't a very good floor plan, but a floor plan nonetheless. And it kind of gave me inspiration on how to kind of map everything out and where to put the rooms and whatnot but yeah um this is me now going around and filling the house with crack <laughs> or cracks sorry <laughs> filling the cracks um just to make it as i said look really run down and very old i just wish there was like a tool where you could like draw a wall and then like the roof line where you can like bend the roof oh, wouldn't that be so great if you could do that with the walls on the outside too to make these really interesting shapes because you can see on the actual uh build on the actual inn in real life this the, the wall is kind of bulging outwards considering how old it is um i just love that character love that character in houses i really do but <clears throat> Yeah, there's so much history on this place. The amount of people this inn actually got passed, like not down to, but people kind of took over the inn. It was it was nuts. There was too many to mention um, as I was going through and doing my research on this place. So I kind of kept it low key and just, just mentioned a few, and especially Mr. John Humphreys, who from my research seems like a very eccentric uh, man. <laughs> definitely a very eccentric man but it was very respected as well especially between the paranormal community i found that in some of the forums that i was scouting to kind of get inspiration for this build and stuff um i found that he was very respected very, which is really nice to hear actually especially someone of that age i think he was like 87 when he died i might be wrong there but very nice it was that was that was a nice thing and that's the kind of thing that these builds do to me i end up going on these big like research i love research and stuff and i love learning new things and um yeah i love that these builds kind of do that for me it allows me to like feed my inner geek and uh get into all of the research of everything that i'm building into what i want to know that made no sense but you knew exactly where i was going with it um hopefully <laughs> <laughs> hopefully you did um but yeah well um, if you wanted to, the funniest thing about this place if you did want to change it into a residential lot 
It wouldn't be too hard. I mean, it's a three bedroom house for a start. Four at a push. You could probably put a single bedroom in one of the like storerooms that I did. Um, it's got a big kitchen. It's got a dining room that I've used as a storeroom because this house, even when John lived here, I had I read that he was very much a hoarder. He loved to hoard stuff. So this house was in shambles. Um, things were just cluttered everywhere. Well, you know, you've, you've seen what hoarders do to places. They just collect things and they're afraid to throw them away and whatnot but i don't know still had so so much character and charm really really did and also um it still has now you can go and investigate this place i'm not sure if you can stay there on a night anymore i think they do group ghost visits where you can um pay some money and go and spend the overnight there um which would be really interesting to do the place inside just it has this vibe and every single one of the investigations that i watched on youtube they all said it's got this kind of very oppressive atmosphere where they kind of feel like they're being stood on their chest feels like they've been stood on and i can understand that um, because I do feel that in places that I don't get not so much a good vibe from but just a vibe I mean a bad vibe sorry but just a vibe that tells me that I don't know there's energy about energy floating about the room I've said this to you guys before but um but yeah anyway look at us in the inside so this was the area that I did as the kind of main in kind of area that had been kind of made into a makeshift living room or just places for ghost I mean that table there in my eyes would have made a really good seance table in front of the fireplace uh so I was, I ended up just pulling out so many I'm gonna sit on my legs one second there we go yeah I ended up pulling up so many of the things from debug and just littering around the place just to give the feeling of it being not a, not a hoarder's house because it was tidied up after John passed away I think even maybe as he was alive it was kind of cleared up a little bit because investigators were coming in when John lived there too I have no idea I'm making up my own dialogue and story in my head but in my sims version I kind of wanted it to cater for people who would come not necessarily spend the night or they could if they want this beds upstairs but um yeah get the seance going now I kind of wish that um we had that kind of what was it the supernatural no it wasn't a supernatural pack it was like a paranormal investigators pack in the sims 4 i know that was one of the community like options for the community pack choice um this would have been a perfect house for that pack and after seeing most of the stuff that's going to be coming with the new pack i'm i'm not that excited and i was one of the people that actually voted for it because I, I don't know I just thought it was going to be a lot different to what is supposedly coming out um I think the main reasons being I saw some of the build and buy objects and I was just I was not impressed <laughs> it's the main reasons being it's just not my style um but I could be proven wrong it could be a really good pack uh I know loads of people were and didn't like the laundry pack idea but when that came out I still think that a lot of the laundry stuff build and buy wise is some of the best in the game and i love the gameplay as well with the washing machines and whatnot so maybe i'll be pleasantly surprised by the arts and craft pack who can say who can say but this the the ghost of paranormal was my second choice and i kind of wish i went for that one now <laughs> not that it would have made the slightest bit of difference but yeah yeah um i found as well when I was looking through photos of the inside of this place and saw the videos of the investigators, that there were lots of like nautical nods to this house. Uh, I think John must have had a past that involved maritime escapades, shall we say? I have no idea. That was what I put it down to. There was just lots of like pirate. There was a cannon out the back. Um, there were lots of kind of the ship ship steering wheels what do you call ship wheel is it a stern is that am i is that right i don't think it is but i'm we're gonna go with that and um, yeah lots of those like lying around the house and stuff so i was like mm. and gloucester isn't necessarily that close to the water so 
Um, let me just check that. I'm, I've, I've been to Gloucester once. <laughs> Um, and I'm unsure. Is it that close to the water where it could have a maritime? Um, well, no, not really. No, it's not. No, I suppose it is actually. Well, it's near an estuary. It's near the River Severn, which is kind of the... Yeah, I suppose it is actually. Yeah. Well, there you go. It's near an estuary, very near an estuary. So the maritime kind of makes sense to me now. So sorry to anybody out there who lives in Gloucester. Um uh, please forgive me. <laughs> anyway, this is the little room where they actually found that grave site, which imagine coming across that. And I know this has been um, um, credited by archaeologists as well. It was a grave site. It was a ritual sacrifice grave site as well. A weapon of choice for the murders of these children was actually found in the grave site too. Uh, I think it consisted of a couple of daggers. Um, and I know that John did keep the bones and put them in a glass case and sort of like preserve them. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but they were preserved and they are being looked after rather than just kind of <sighs> sacrificed into a ground somewhere. That is just, oh, that really freaks me out. Very, oh, I, w I would love to know why the reasons were. I wouldn't like to see at all. <laughs> in the slightest but oh that, that that thing like morbidly fascinates me anything like that those weird sort of like things in history like that though just can you imagine that being still done today oh no thank you no thank you but yeah we kind of recreated this little little grave area just off of the main entrance it's probably not where it is in the real house but eh i wanted to kind of as i said just bring my own little version of it to the sims and so, yeah, you've got a lovely little grave site in this house if you wish to move in. Stunning. Uh, but yeah, this is the witch's room anyway. We're in the witch's room now, so we are styling up this witch's room. I kind of picked the same bed colour um, and where most of the furniture around the bed is laid, along with the photos and stuff, to kind of marry and make it fit in with the photos but the rest of it on this side um apart from this dining table there was a dining table in the room for some reason so i actually went in and put a dining a dining room up a, a dining table up in the room too um but everything else that i actually put in i actually just make up myself why not why bloody not that's all i'm gonna say uh but it's actually a really nice room i use a lot of the railroad magic stuff in here um, obviously because, you know, witch. <laughs> so I use a lot of it, use a lot of it. And I wish we had more with that pack. I know we got a few objects and stuff, but I don't know. For an occult kind of life state in The Sims, I wish that we had more objects to kind of bring that, like, life state to life. Can we say that? Yes. Uh, yeah, I wish we did. Wish we had more than it would have been. I don't know. It would have been a more well-rounded well pack if that was the case. But mm, I'm, as I said, I'm not really much of a game player anymore. But um, yeah, that was much just my two cents on it. Anyway, sweeties, my sweeties. I actually changed the color of the uh, floorboards all throughout as well. In the beginning, I went for these kind of muted black ones. But the more investigations videos I watched, um, oh, it's changed now. So you see, I've changed it for the dark brown. Everything was more in a dark brown. Um, but but yes, very much enjoyed it. This is the bishop's room. So this is going to be the last room that you kind of see get furnished. It's all of the main rooms that get talked about a lot and mentioned about a lot. Um, and for some reason, this one's got, I think it had three beds in, but they were almost like double beds, like single double beds. They were a little bit bigger than a single bed, but a little bit smaller than a double bed. So can't really recreate that in The Sims. So what I did is just put three beds in here instead. Um, so yeah, Sims could come and sleep there if they wish. But the rest of the house you'll probably see, well, you will see in the video tour at the end anyway, including the kitchen and stuff I put in. Nothing special. But I really wanted to make this house feel alive when you do go to download it. As always, it's all my builds are under the Devon Bumpkin hashtag. If you want my custom content builds, then you make sure that you filter for custom content. I have to say that so many times to so many different people. And I know it's difficult to try and work out how to search for things on the gallery because the gallery is shit. Um, but yeah. 
always under the Devon Pumpkin hashtag, along with other creations from the community. Like a lot of the community like to use that hashtag as well, which is cool because I do check out builds using that hashtag. So feel free to use it. Um, and also um, make sure that you put move objects on. They are my two rules when downloading my builds. Um, just make sure to use move objects because I like to use it a lot. <laughs> I do. I, I very much do. But um, but yeah. So yeah, the bishop's room. Uh, that freaked me out. The story of that reverend who actually came and stayed. I forgot what he was called again. He was called um, Reverend John Yates. He actually came, stayed here, tried to exercise the house and failed because of how haunted this place is. Um, and he actually, as I said, said it was the most evil place he ever had the misfortune to visit which is lovely. I hope that wasn't a, a TripAdvisor review, Mr. Reverend John Yates, because if it was, I don't like it. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to say at the end then, so I failed. But anyway, my darlings, I'm going to leave you with a video tour now. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Everybody stay safe. Keep smiling. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone. Mm.